Welcome to the Social Science and Ethics Suite. During this short presentation, you will be given a brief overview of each of the subjects within the suite and what choosing to study these subjects at Year 9 will involve and what they could lead to at Key Stage 4 and beyond. This suite is comprised of subjects that combined help to provide students with the knowledge and understanding of human behaviour, our society and current issues that impact on our daily lives. While studying this suite, you will develop your extended writing skills, learning how to plan and write answers to essay questions. You will also be required to draw upon math skills in psychology when analysing data. So with this in mind, entry requirements are in place to ensure your suitability for this course. This will involve heads of departments looking at your year 11 target grades in English and math. One of the courses in this suite is Citizenship Studies. Do you have strong opinions about the changes that you would like to see in society? In Citizenship, you will explore political parties' manifestos, the different elements of the criminal justice system, and how those in power impact on our everyday lives. In this subject, you will study controversial and topical issues with political, social, ethical, economic and environmental dimensions. What topics do you cover in citizenship? Our citizenship course covers an introduction to politics, crime and justice, how the UK population is changing, the UK's relationship with other countries and how citizens can make a change in society. Citizenship studies is assessed in two exams at the end of year 11. You will answer questions about sources and you'll learn how to write essays. You will also complete your own citizenship action and be asked about this in the exam. In citizenship, you will develop your research skills, your debate skills, your extended writing skills and your ability to evaluate different sources of information. Regardless of your future career pathways, citizenship will play an important part in adult life. However, specific careers that relate to this subject include the police, roles in local or national government, volunteering internationally, journalism or political research. I'm Miss Ward and I'm going to give you an overview of psychology um, as a subject and specifically psychology at Wickersley. So there are many reasons um, why students choose to study psychology. Um, from career prospects, so it may be that um, you already know what you want to do um, when you leave school, um, or it might be just a personal interest that you've got in the subject. Um, and psychology is a fascinating area to study that covers a vast array of uh, topics, um, all around helping us to understand human behaviour and mental processes, and specifically how we think, act and feel. Um, we cover a range of topics on um, the AQA uh, GCSE course, um, including some of the ones you can see here. So neurobiology and the brain, sex and gender, sleep and dreaming, um, psychological problems, just to name but a few. Um, psychology is assessed in the form of written exams, which will be at the end of year 11. The papers are an hour and 45 minutes long. Um, from this course, um, you'll have the opportunity to develop a range of skills, um, such as the ones listed here. Um, and you'll see that psychology can lead to a range of careers um, in lots of different areas of psychology, um, but also in teaching and um, areas like mental health nursing too. Another subject in the Social Science and Ethics Suite is Sociology, and Sociology is the scientific study of human social life. So what that means is that we'll be looking at a range of sociological issues that are happening in society, um, and here we've got them listed. So things like the media, <clears throat> education, the changing nature of families and religion, and the impact of crime. So big issues that are happening in society that we look at from a range of perspectives, and maybe look at these from an outsider's point of view. So challenging your taken for granted assumptions about some of the things that you know about. 
In year nine, we look at um, current social issues. So as well as the things that are mentioned above, uh, we look at things like immigration. Um, so we look at why do people migrate into a country? Why do they leave? Uh, what are the factors that will push them? We look at um, an aging population. So what's happening to the makeup of our population in the UK and what consequences does that have? Um, as well as a, a range of other issues. And then in year 10 and year 11, we go on to study key sociological concepts um, and theories and methods, as well as topics of families education and crime deviance and stratification. In terms of assessment, you're assessed at the end of year 11, and uh, those are the details about what's on each of the papers. Um, the skills that you'll develop, you develop your writing skills because most of the assessment is based on written work. Um, so you will build up to writing extended essays. You'll learn to evaluate, so you look at things from two different points of view or more, um, and learn to challenge the points that you make, um, and hopefully gain a better understanding of your society. In terms of where sociology can lead, it's a subject that doesn't pigeonhole uh, you into any particular area. So it can lead to a range of things, and these are just some of them. Uh, so these are not exclusive. There are lots of other careers uh, that sociology can eventually lead to. And turning to the final subject in our suite, religious studies. If you are the kind of person who really enjoys grappling with the big questions of life, or you really enjoy asking and probing why. For instance, thinking about um, questions such as, are aliens real? Is there any evidence that there are aliens out there? Can there be a God if bad stuff happens to innocent people all the time? How and why should we punish criminals? Should we put them in prison? Should we allow them rehabilitation programs? Or questions such as, is the Big Bang the best explanation for why we are all here? If these kind of questions excite you, then religious studies is the subject for you. Don't let the name mislead you. Within this subject, we will be looking at religious ideas, but we'll also cover non-religious viewpoints, such as atheist and humanist ideas. Not only will we be looking at religious topics, but we'll also look at philosophical and ethical issues. So, for example, what do we mean when we say something is good or bad? Are we talking about following the law? Are we talking about following our gut instinct? Are we talking about what our conscience tells us to do? And also ideas such as, is CCTV okay? Should it be there to protect us? Or does it violate our privacy? And whilst looking at the beliefs and behaviours of different groups, you will also focus on your own ideas, your own beliefs and your own opinions about the world around you. Within religious studies, we will cover a wide range of different topics. Here's just an example of some that we might cover. For instance, we might look at arguments for and against belief in a God. So what evidence do some people provide that a God does exist? So for instance, religious experiences of God. And we might also look at arguments against that evidence. So for instance, can those experiences be trusted? We will also look at things such as crime and punishment. So how and why should we punish criminals? Should we bring things like the death penalty back? We'll also look at things to do with human rights and social justice linked to religion. So for instance, why is it that the Catholic Church doesn't allow women to become priests? And we'll also cover topics such as life and death. So what, if anything, happens after we die? Is there any evidence of a heaven and a hell? Is there any evidence that people might be reincarnated or reborn? Turning to assessment, we will build upon the skills you have developed across year seven and eight, your knowledge and understanding and personal opinion and debate. There is no coursework in religious studies. In terms of formal qualification, there will be two exams at the end of year 11. Within religious studies, you will develop lots of different skills. For instance, critical thinking skills, such as being able to develop your own argument and lead that argument with evidence to a sound conclusion. Being able to evaluate which side of a debate is stronger and why. You'll also develop many different communication skills, for instance, active listening during a debate, or being able to present your ideas effectively in both written and verbal form. You'll also develop lots of skills that will help with building relationships. So for example, being able to work effectively as part of a team, and being able to understand ideas that might be different from your own. 
As you can see, religious studies helps you develop a multitude of different skills, which will help you on whatever your next steps might be. So in terms of a career path, there's not one job that's linked directly to religious studies. For instance, the skills you develop might help you become a really effective journalist in the writing that you do, or it might help you become really effective in the world of politics in terms of forming a debate. A couple of questions that sometimes crop up is, do I need to be religious to take this course? And is this course designed to make me religious? And the answer to both of those questions is no. In religious studies, we're interested in learning about different people, different ideas and beliefs, and thinking about how that links to what I personally, as an individual, think about the world around me.